listening and writing. Listen to the audio and answer the following questions. One of the greatest advances in modern technology has been the invention of computers. They are widely used in industries and universities. Now there is hardly any sphere of human life where computers have not been pressed into service of man. We are heading fast towards the day when a computer will be as much part of man's daily life as a telephone or a calculator. Computers are capable of doing extremely complicated work in all branches of learning. They can also solve the most complex mathematical problems or put thousands of unrelated facts in order. These machines can be put to varied uses. For instance, they can provide information on the best way to prevent traffic jams. This whole process by which machines can be used to work for us has been called automotion. In the future, automotion may be enable human beings to enjoy more leisure than they do today. The coming automotion is bound to have important social consequences. Some years ago, an expert on automotion, Sir Leon Bargett, pointed out that it was a mistake to believe that these machines could think. There is no possibility that human being will be controlled by machines. Though computers are capable of learning from their mistakes and improving their performance, they need detailed instructions from human beings to operate. They can never, as it were, leading independent lives or rule the world by making decisions of their own. Sir Leon said that in future, computers would be developed which would be small enough to carry in the pocket. Ordinary people would then be able to use them to obtain valuable information. Computers could be plugged into a national network and be used like radios. For instance, people going on holiday could be informed about weather conditions. Car drivers can be given alternative routes when they are traffic jams. It will also be possible to make tiny translating machines. This will enable people who do not share a common language to talk each other without any difficulty or to read foreign publications.